Thirty-six. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. As Porter, just uh, monitoring the amount of bike, bike traffic we have passing through Rocks Bay Crossing. Looks like it um it kind of doubled over the last couple of weeks. So I um, just want to show you the amount of bikes that are passing through here on a regular basis. Now, this is only a small portion of what we, you're going to see, because um it is now 5:36 uh, p.m. Most people have already um, came through, but you see some stragglers passing through on their bikes. So you kind of get an idea how many people are actually using the uh, bike path over here. And honestly, the um, bike is a lot faster than the um, the bus if you if you're going from destination to destination. You'd be surprised how fast you could do the bike path. That's the uh... That's the people getting on the shuttle right there. Then we get the bikes coming through just as... Just, just as pretty swiftly. Some people are just beginning, but you know they're doing pretty good. Because that bus was full, so that 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 bus that just left was full, so he couldn't even uh, pick up any passengers. Okay. Now I'm I'm not counting, but um, you guys could count if you want to. I just want to give you an idea how many bikes are passing through here. Comes another shuttle bus. Let's see if this one is full. Wow, that one like it's full too. Is that that one's full too? Only two people can go on the bus. Wow. Another shuttle bus to behind that one. Two, only two people could go on this bus. And the rest could get on the bus in the rear. Here come all the bikers now. You guys are doing it. Keep up the good work. Naturally, uh, I, I do a lot of biking around the city myself when I'm not driving. I try to do more biking than driving if I can help it. Especially in the city, yeah, there's not too many places you cannot ride your bike in the city of Boston. So some of these people are stuck waiting for the um, the third bus. So even though three buses, actually it was three buses that went by, they wait for the fourth bus, sorry about that. So there's still a couple of stragglers that weren't able to um, fit on the last three buses that went by.
see if this bus is full or not. I'm not too sure if this one is full or not, but we'll see how it's based on the amount of people that get off and the amount of people that get on. Well, those buses are all crowded too, just so you know. There's no, it's only standing room, they can't even stand on it, basically. I mean, that's why a lot of people chose to do bus. What's up, my man? Good to see you again. You know I'm gonna be around. Look at these people on bikes. They, they, they are, the bike sales, I was at a couple of bike shops the other day, and the bike sales are uh, booming. Bike sales, like people are tuning, people are tuning their bikes up, getting them oiled up. Um, the weight at, um, well, I'm not going to say the name of the bike shops, but, um, they had a pretty good weight to get your bike, you know, tuned up a little bit. Purchases are um, actually getting higher than actually the repairs. Some people are just saying enough of it, let me just buy a bike. And just about all four seasons, you can ride your bike. Winter time, you just got to be careful for the ice and the, uh, the snow. But as long as DCR. What's going on, my man? How many full buses? I didn't know you were here, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've been in the cut, man. I'm in, I'm in the cut. I'm just, I'm on the, I'm on the more of the bike traffic today than anything else. But I focus on the buses, maybe, maybe we got next. A new girl on the on the car over there, but I don't know. That's that's the first time I saw her. Oh, the one over there on the yeah. on the. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna bother her. I will leave her alone. Mm -hmm. They got a better job. Well, city. they only pick up the handicaps, yeah, dis disability. You know? So they they go as needed. Yeah, I know. I yeah. Know. Okay, I'm on. All right, good seeing you, my man. I was at Ruggles Station the other day, and um, those buses were kind of full coming out of Ruggles as well. Um, more people are starting to go to work now. The first week people took the week off hoping now people are like, you know, I gotta go to work. But right now we're kind of focusing more on the bike traffic because there is an influx on bike traffic, which means there's probably going to be more accidents with people on bikes. A lot of people I noticed are not wearing helmets, which, you know, Kind of like a catch 21, 22, if you want to call it. Do you invest in the helmet and then only use it for like a month and then get rid of it? Uh, what do you do? See all the bikes coming up here? There's quite a few people on bikes. Out of gear, that's what that's that's the gear needs to be switched switched up. There's a there's a postal worker that um bikes to and from work every morning. He's doing a double duty. He's actually crossing pedestrians across the street as well, which is uh, pretty good. Oh, he's helping them cross the street. I never ridden those blue bikes, but somebody told me there's only one gear, but it's like a centrifugal 
automatic gear inside of them. I had never tried to ride those. One day I might give it a shot and see how they uh, actually work. I never tried it, but they said it's like one gear that's supposed to fit all. So we got like three buses right, right in back of each other right now. Uh, how those, those those bikes ride pretty good? Yeah, they do. Okay, cool. Oh, okay. He said they ride pretty good. And the, the difficult thing is these buses only have one door, so you have to wait till all the passengers come off before you can set any passengers in. Whereas if you had a rear door, you could let passengers off at the rear door and enter on the front door. I'm surprised the MBTA hasn't reached out to like um, companies like Paul Revere that has those kind of buses that they can utilize. There's, a, there's another company that has a, a, a fleet of buses like that too. It kind of slips my... I know LMA has a lot of buses like that and um, there's a couple other bus services that have those kind of buses. A lot of people bike as far as from downtown all the way to um, Forest Hills. Some even even further than that. I might take a ride down to um, Ruggles Station as well. Just to see what's going on down there. I just want to give you guys an idea how many bikers are actually on the road today. And I noticed it because I, naturally I got my bike right here, so I'll be, I'll be riding around the city, touching a couple of areas, hitting a, hitting a pretty good spots, see what's going on. A lot of blue bikes, as you can see, quite a few blue bikes there. These guys are doing it up, man. All right, guys, just want to show you a little activity with the people riding bikes along the bike path here, the Southwest Corridor. Um, I heard there's over 200 buses that they have throughout the whole uh, operation.
And, and the good thing about riding a bike, you kind of work at your own pace. You're not in a race. You just ride as comfortable as you feel, as safe as you feel. And as long as you get safely from point A to point B, it's the most important thing. Quite a few people making that uh, making that trip on the bikes. See if I could take a ride on my bike down to down the yonder over here. See what we get. You'll mostly be working. As you can see, all the people are making their way home. Not a whole lot of activity on this side of Ruggles Station. 
Most of the buses are either either dropping off up here or picking up on um, Columbus Ave. This is where people kind of like merge into this um, bike path from either direction. We just kind of, you always got to be, I, and uh, I was talking to some of the bikers about this um, walkway that's in the, um, the ramp that's in the, uh, what you call it, the crosswalk, that needs to be wider in order to accommodate the bikers going in, in both directions. Like, they were asking why the, the ramp is not as wide as the uh, crosswalk itself, and honestly, I don't even have an answer for that. Because if the crosswalk is that wide, then why couldn't the uh, ramp be just as wide? Because now you got a volume of bikers going both ways, trying to fit into a narrow uh, uh, ramp there, which could be kind of dangerous. Overall, the uh, the traffic on the street is not bad at all. You can see there's, there's kind of light to moderate traffic on the streets. It's not as much as you would think it would be, at least not over here anyway. But he's doing pretty good. He's got one of those um, EV, well either you can pedal it or you can use the electric motor or the seven one you feel like using. E-bike. I give you guys a little bit more footage of this, and uh, I head about it here. Code three will be 19x. Code 19. Want to give you an idea how much traffic is up here? It's quite a. It's more um, bike traffic than usual. If, you, if I would have did a, a before and after type thing, see how it used to be compared to how it is now. 
it's it's uh, qu quite the difference. A majority of these people would, would have been on trains coming through the Orange Line, Southwest Corridor, and they they chose the uh, the bike route, which is perfectly fine. It's cheaper at this point. It is more reliable for sure. But he's doing it up. Alright guys, I'm headed out of here. Just wanted to show you the uh, people using the bike path. Like you can see, it's getting used quite frequently. Alright guys, I'm gonna have to catch you guys on the next one.